Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Road to Glory. It's a French Road to Glory, and we're slowly building our way up to a great side. Uh, last episode, we ended up bringing in Remy, played a few games him, we went alright. Been in decent enough form as of late. I know we lost a few and had a few draws a few episodes ago, but um, sort of back on our winning ways. Um, didn't take us long, really, uh, and it's this... You know, this it should be this way in um, these divisions. But right on, right from the kickoff, he's just going to go through, and his own Remy ends up scoring. And it was an okay side from this guy, but at the same time, I re really didn't feel like they had that much going for them, apart from a bit of pace. Uh, we did get quite lucky here, um, ourselves using the pace with Lacazette. Um, the chip was pretty shit, but uh, he brought the keeper out, so it's his fault there. Um, they ended up just chipping it through there, and a great finish. Um, hats off to him, a great finish, or she, or whatever. Um, so 2-1 down at this stage, I wasn't really too worried, if it got to 2-0 down, like if we were 2 goals behind I'd be worried, but then Remy, an absolute belter that one was, off the crossbar, and uh, still made it in, which was quite good, and just looked so awesome that goal, and once he got it to 2-all, I was pretty confident we we're going to go on with it, and uh, we're about to go and do that, as Lacazette, he's going to end up finishing it with a nice little scissor kick there, um, and then and outside the best circumstances to do it, but you know, a goal's a goal, and if we can get a scissor kick, I'd be quite happy. So at this stage, we're sort of just playing around, uh, a bit casual at this stage, just trying to relax a little bit, and we end up scoring through Valbuena. Um, and then at that stage, the dude had enough. I mean, I think he went up and hit the post or something, and then he decided to quit. Uh, I didn't show it because there's no real reason, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he hit the post and then ended up um, putting miles on the counter. But um, that Valbuena goal, I think it's probably an underrated goal in terms of like the turn made the perfect turn uh, in terms of like going the right way and everything and it just looks so good to me now this is this game here um, after we just applied a few contracts uh, we ended up going and um, changing formations and we moved to the 451 which I think I don't know which one I prefer I, I do like having the wingers but at the same time I find having like crowd in the midfield and that just works so well people can't handle it I'm taking on a really nice team but I, for uh, a BBVA one, I think he had Neuer in goal, but so I was sort of thinking, man, this is going to be a bit difficult, or you know. So sometimes when you get these good sides, it's kind of a better thing for me because if I see a shit side, I sort of um, get complacent and be like, oh, well, I'm going to win. This guy must be crap. But when you get um, people who have um, really good teams and that, sort of lift your game a little bit. You want to prove them wrong and um, try and smash them. To be totally honest with you, like as soon as I see a good team, I want to destroy them. Um, especially when you've got a lower team yourself. I'm not saying that our, like our team's the worst or anything, I'm just saying compared to these. Then we go and bring in Laporte, I don't know if that's the exact pronunciation, but this um, this young guy, he's, well he is very young, he uh, seems to be a career mode favourite from a lot of people. Um, but on this game, I don't know how he is at this stage, but I thought he was worth the pick up, uh, only 650 coins, so we can just discard him if he's no good. Uh, but I do see him um, being a big part in our side. Just want to strengthen the defence up because at stages I feel quite poor. Um, we've got d some decent guys with in terms of pace. We've got some pacey lads, but uh, in terms of actual defending ability, probably not the best. Uh, but we're moving into this next game here, and this dude had you know a very fast side, and you see here wall cut. Um, this two games um, out of this episode, people had just got me with a roulette. Um, not actually like the roulette itself, but for some reason just holding off him, and then the pace just to go straight through him there. We get quite fortunate here. Uh, I think the ball's going uh, to fall, fall um, when our players may end up winning a penalty. It was quite strange how it happened, but it sort of um, just went all weird and got very, very lucky with that. So we'll take that. Uh, it doesn't happen too often for us, usually against us. But then right before half time, end up um, scoring another one. It was a rocker. I think it was Rob Bueno at that time. Um, he has a habit of doing that. And then looking for a third here, Remy Cabella ends up finishing at the bottom near post. Um, so really, really nice finish there. And that was actually the second time I tried that. There was two attacking, like, the throw in. There was one right before that where I tried to do the same thing. And they just read it too easily. But then it worked the second time, so. Good on us. And uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. As you can see, we're just buying a 200, like, coin bonus thing because the other one ran out. But yeah, like I said, that's where the episode's going to end. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you can drop a like. Hopefully you can subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.